find the headlines, Asian American women and retirement. When it comes to retirement, Asian women have a lot in common with other women of color, but they also live longer, so they need to save more to cover longer retirement periods. In the third segment in our series on women in retirement, we examine how a longer lifespan affects retirement goals. You have to be flexible. You have to allow for uh, something that was unplanned for possibly to alter priorities in what you thought would be your, your retirement life. Betty Lee Hawks is more than just a recent retiree. As the founder of the Pan-Asian Women's Network, and after more than two decades with the Health and Human Services Department Office on Minority Health, Hawks has spent the better part of her career on the concerns of women of color, especially Asian American women. I'd have to say first that I'm not sure Asian American women know the statistics that they or we experience or can potentially look forward to a longer lifespan than most any other American. With an average lifespan of 86 years, Asian American women outlive white women by more than five years, black women by nearly a decade. But with longevity comes a heavier reliance on Social Security. In fact, Asian Americans count on Social Security more than other groups of retirees. For more than a quarter of them, it's their only source of retirement income. Longevity also increases the risk for health problems. AARP President Jenny Chin Hansen finds many people forget about health care issues when saving for retirement. The stories that, that surprise people have to do with long-term care and the cost of long-term care. And uh, it's oftentimes said that the average person needs about $85,000 to be put aside for long-term care. That surprises people. Asian Americans are the second fastest growing minority group in the U.S. They represent 5% of the population. By 2050, that number is expected to double. Since the majority of Asian Americans are under the age of 64, their reliance on Social Security is projected to grow. But even before they reach retirement age, many Asian American women face another barrier, caregiving. The average caregiver loses some $25,000 in Social Security benefits. Um, I, I'd say that because still with some Asian ethnic groups in this country having, it could be 40 40% foreign born, meaning um, their first generation Americans here. The, that sense of obligation and duty is, I would say, even more ingrained. So there are the issues of taking care of the older generation even as we are aging. Retirement savings is also affected by earning power. Asian American women earn more than other women, but they also have a wage gap. That gap costs the average Asian American woman some $250,000 in earnings over her lifetime, leaving her with less to invest and less in savings. The data on Asian American women is still pretty modest. Um, in fact, with um, any group of women of color, I think some things are only emerging. So focus really points out that we need more data collection, first of all. But I think that it's still obvious to all of us that women are paid on average about 77 cents to the dollar relative to what men earn in a similar job. So when you lose almost 25 percent of that, that does affect a, a woman's uh, economic uh, nest egg or the, the anchoring of their retirement savings on an amount they could have saved more if they had 25 percent more on top of that. Even with all these obstacles, Hawks and Hansen say retirement is possible. Women just need to save, prioritize, and start planning for the future early. And for Asian American women, since um, we're, we're likely to outlive our partners, you know, um, whoever they are, uh, I think it's, it's really important to, um, to be financially educated about your own um, resources. I think we saw some uh, general figures for what um, IRA savings tend to be, and they're only about between twenty-five and $35,000 per, per person. So it begins to tell us there's a real mathematical gap here that we need to have a chance to focus on this to make sure that people are on that path to savings early. <laughs>
So Dr. Jeanette Takamura, thank you for joining the panel. What is the biggest problem with Asian American women and retirement that doesn't affect other women of color communities or, or all women? I think it's really difficult to single out, single out any particular variable that especially impacts Asian American women. One of the things that I would say to you is that I would almost assert that Asian American women don't retire, that they actually go on to caregiving without being paid necessarily. And in looking at the data about Asian American women and their longevity, what you can see is that they have a longer period of time that they dedicate oftentimes to caregiving. Now let me just say that relative to uh, finances, I think it's unfortunate that as a nation we just have not given attention, enough attention to assuring that people have financial literacy. We spend a lot of time making sure that people understand or know how to read but you know what's fascinating about that to me is whether you are able to read or not, whether you are functionally illiterate or not, you still need to use money. You need to know everything that you possibly can about money. And but, we do but aren't more high schools these days giving uh, financial literacy oh, I, courses? I, I, well, I think, I, I think some are, but in fact, I think this is a big problem. But I, I would, I'd like to just get back to the question of, of you know, various groups. And sure. obviously, you know more about Asian uh, families. I know more about Latino families. And one of the things I think both Asian and Latino families traditionally been known for is that the elderly are taken into the home. I care for my mother. She lives, my 87 year old mother now lives with me. And so while the savings may not be there, there is a different social network that's functioned. Whether this is gonna continue uh, as people move up and as you know, Asian and Latino families become more affluent and become more self-centered and focused on this generation and, and me as opposed to, to the group, uh, we'll see. But that has been one of the uh, resilient things about the Latino but, and Asian community. But I have found a lot of friends who are not Asian or Latinos who have been taking in mm -hmm. their elderly parents for a whole host of reasons. But, so but getting back to your community, what what in your mind sets out Asian American women from, from other groups or all other women in retirement? I think they are financially literate for the <laughs> most part. I do think that they try to create savings. Uh, what about immigrants? What about immigrant Asian Americans? Oh, especially immigrant families. They understand the importance of money for the totality of the family. I don't know if they necessarily think of themselves as discrete beings separate from the welfare of the entire family. So, but I think that whole social network system whereby families define not just immediate, but well, that's an interesting it, concept, but don't yeah. women have to start thinking about themselves as separate from the rest of the family, as that uh, all women outlive all men on average? It depends average. on the generations. It's really difficult to generalize about, I think, Asian American populations, and you pretty much alluded to it just a moment ago when you talked about the immigrant population. In fact, if you look at Asian Americans and to some degree why they succeeded in, in the United States, it's because oftentimes they have multi-generational families yep. and they have several wage owners all contributing to the family pot. Now, What about Social Security? We're almost out of time. What, what Social Security reforms need to be put well, in Well, I would say that Social Security has actually kept many, many women out of poverty. So if we think about reforms, and one of the things I would not want to see is Social Security taken away as one of the important legs of the stool for financial and This, this is just such an important segment because for every woman of every group, here's what you know, right. we're going to live longer, we're going to be paid less, we are penalized for taking time out for family responsibilities. So the very things you're supposed to do as a woman, taking care of your children, taking care of your older parents, cost you in the marketplace, ultimately cost you in Social Security, and Social Security is a lifeline for women. We have got to make sure that Social Security is there, even as we try to build in other retirement security. 